Hey guys, I'm about to bomb it. See, this is the one reacting to one of your recommendations. That will be amazing. So the one be reacting to Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him, prophesied in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy by Dr. Zaki Naik. Okay, I don't think this is true, but let's get straight into this. Guys, if you're interested in Muslim, Christian, religion, if you are seeking for the truth, so that's what we are all after. We are looking for strong evidence that says Christian is false, Muslim is real, or Muslim is false, Christian is real. But we're going to get it. I feel we're going to get it. This is actually a reaction channel for education purposes. Guys, let's get straight into this. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or for the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. And the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of all the major world religions. It's even mentioned in the Bible. If you read the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God says, I shall raise them, O prophet, from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. This prophecy, which is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God speaks to Moses, peace be upon him, and says, I shall raise them, O prophet, from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. Many of the Christians, they say that this prophecy refers to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when we ask them that how does this prophecy refer to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and they tell us that here the prophecy says, I shall raise them, a prophet, from among thy brethren, like unto thee. The prophet to come should be like Moses, peace be upon him. And the similarities the Christians give between Jesus and Moses, peace be upon them, is that Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were Jews. And both Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them were prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities for the fulfillment of the prophecy, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible after Moses, peace be upon him, fulfilled the prophecy. All the prophets mentioned after Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, were Jews and all were prophets of God. For example, Prophet Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, John the Baptist, all of them, they were Jews and all of them were prophets of God. If these two are the... Guys, I'll be right back. I need to get my phone and search for this. Guys, I'm back. Guys, yeah, it said, um, okay, verse 18. I will, raise, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their fellow Israelites, and I will put my words in his mouth. He will tell them everything I command him. Guys, he said Israelites, and I, I believe when this verse is actually talking about Jesus Christ. I love you. I, I know, I know. You're already saying I don't have sense or I don't know what I'm saying, but I know. Guys, let's continue. Only similarities, then there are several prophets mentioned in the Bible which fulfill this prophecy. In fact, if we analyze this prophecy does not befit anyone better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If we analyze Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were born naturally. They had a mother and they had a father. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was born miraculously without any male intervention. He had a mother, but he had no father. And it is mentioned in the Quran about his birth, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 47. It's also mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, 
chapter number one, verse number 35, that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. Guys, but if I want to be honest, let's leave Islam aside. I feel it's an amazing religion and I feel Christianity itself is an amazing religion. Let's forget about the pastors and the, the members of both religions. Let's just put the two aside. I feel it's an amazing religion. I, if I want to be very honest, they are both amazing religion that I feel if you practice it, you are supposed to go to heaven. Let's put it to our side. Yes, let's put it to our side. He says something about if let's just focus on this because he says something about the passage talking to that like passage is supposed to be about Mohammed. But I think the passage we're actually talking about Jesus. This is what I and any Christian you ask will tell you. But maybe because but I believe this is talking about Jesus. Because Jesus actually born miraculously. That actually make him fit. I won't say fit, but that actually make him able to carry the gospel. Because I just reacted to a video before this and Ahmed that was like Jesus carried the gospel of God. He was able to speak the gospel, but he wasn't speaking it from the Bible. He was speaking it based on what God gave to him. That yeah. this is what Ahmed Didat said. And he was Ahmed Didat was like not the books of not the gospel of Luke, not the gospel of Matthew, but Jesus actually spoke the gospel. Yes, Tracy, because the prophet of God we actually speak the word of God. Jesus was able to speak the word of God without any book. He was able to perform miracles without anything. And Jesus was the pro I believe Jesus was the prophet because, because I watched a video, the one I posted today. It was about a story of Islam. It's actually a movie clip, but I found it very amazing and interesting. And a lot of you was actually contradicting what I was asking because I, I I asked the question about that video. I was like, the video was saying Jesus. The video was saying the Holy Spirit came upon Mary. That was what they said in the video. But you guys were saying as the Spirit that came upon Mary. But like, yo, we watched this video to get that they said the Holy Spirit came upon Mary. So like, you're trying to. Guys, let's put that aside. What I'm saying, because I feel Jesus is fit for because he was born supernaturally, meaning he's different from the rest. Like he's different from the rest prophets. And he was able to deliver that gospel. Right, so I don't want to think about this my explanation. Guys, let's get back into this. So if we analyze Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, we know that Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were married and they had children. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not married and he had no children. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him, and Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. Further, when we read the Quran and the Bible, we come to know that Moses, peace be upon him, he had a natural death. Same like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He too had a natural death. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. According to the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 158, he was raised up alive. I, I don't really see this valid. Like... And according to the Bible also, it is the same. But many Christians say that he was crucified. Even if we agree what they say, though I've given a talk proving from the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, irrespective of whether he was raised up alive or whether he was crucified, he did not die a natural death. So if we analyze, we come to know that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him. 
and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. Further, we come to know from the Quran and the Bible that Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were accepted by the people as a whole. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not accepted by the people as a whole. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 11. He came to his own, and his own people forsook him. So he was not accepted by his people as a whole. Furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, they were worldly kings. That means they could give the punishment of life and death to whoever they wanted. They had that power. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 18, verse number 36. He says, my kingdom is not of this world. And furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them, they bought a new law. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not bring a new law. He came to confirm the previous law. As what is mentioned clearly in the Quran, in Surah Saf. Guys, I feel, I, I find it very offensive. Yeah, now I have to be honest. I find it very, very offensive when you, when someone is actually saying something about, when you're actually saying something, okay, I hold this secret. And when you want to talk about it, I feel you should say the truth about it. Because it was written in the Bible, Jesus said he's not here to change the old law, but to add to it. But now he, he didn't put the ad to it. Like, I, I find it very disrespectful when this kind of thing happens. When he's trying to quote the Bible, but he's not quoting it fully. It's actually very distracting. And I feel some Muslims haven't read the Bible. I'm not trying to tell you Christianity is a religion you should come to or anything. But, like, I just want it to be there. Because I feel... Everyone is going to go to heaven or hell personally. You are going there for yourself, not because Zach and Ike told you something, but everyone is going there. I feel everyone's supposed to have this personal research or personal relationship with God. And I feel everyone is supposed to study to get yourself approved. And sometimes when I watch videos like Zach and Ike and Amelie that always say, like the New Testament is false and not false as per false, but they say it's not, they don't accept it. But sometimes when they're making reference, they use the New Testament. But some, some verses in the New Testament, they'll say it's not, like, I feel you're not supposed to select the part of the Bible that you feel is true and you feel is not. It is respectful because this is something we hold sacred as Christians. You're not supposed to just pick some parts in it and... Guys, let's get back though. Chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, he said to the children of Israel, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, I have been sent as a messenger to you, confirming the law what has come before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come, whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's also mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number seven, verse number 157. It says, they follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the scriptures, the law and the gospel. So when we read the Quran, it says, that it will be prophesied in the scriptures, in the law and the gospel about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been prophesied in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. And further it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, that anyone who does not hearken to his words, I will require of him. Some translations say, I will take revenge. That means anyone who does not follow this messenger to come, Almighty God will take revenge from these people. 
I, I just feel you should read the book. Like, if you want to read the Bible, read the Bible and the Quran. And I'm, I'm taking my time. Like, this is something I do every morning. I'm trying to finish the Bible. That, that's something I want to do. Then when I finish the Bible, I read the Quran. Then I'll see it. Like, balance it. But, guys, tell me what to think about this. I, I don't really want to talk more further. Tell me, answer my questions. Even though you me, I'm free, I'm used to it. But then what you think about this? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.